Hello everyone, before this video starts, I want to give a quick shout out to Green Soldier Productions. He's nearing 5,000 subscribers. He's been a great friend of mine and a patron for quite a while now, and he makes a great blend between Green Soldier action figures and Halo Mega Constructs videos. It's a real riot, so please do make sure to check him out and help him reach 5k. Enjoy the video. Hello once again YouTube, welcome back to The Domain. This is actually video number two today. I actually did a reveal uh, about two or three hours ago of the new ODST Hornet. It looks phenomenal. It's called the UNSC Hornet Recon. You can check out that video. Again, I'm doing this kind of a uh, little bit laid back, new kind of approach to uh, reveals. When Mega sends me official images, I'll make sure to do a proper presentation style video. But when we're just going over some new reveals uh, from the internet, we may as well just record the screen and have it a little bit more, a uh, little bit more personal. Uh, so today we're having a look at the second uh, reveal from Mega Constructs News. Of course, it was from someone else who fed it to him, but I don't see the actual reference here. But uh, yeah. This is a brand new Mongoose, and we're going to talk about it, we're going to break it down, we're going to compare it to other sets, and we're going to just have a good time in general. Because let me tell you, uh, this set is uh, kind of wild uh, for so many reasons, <laughs> and we're going to go into each of those reasons for sure. Yeah, the previous video we went over this UNSC Hornet, and you can check out my full analysis of that. It's the previous video on my channel. I'm also going to have a link at the end of this video and in the description to a playlist of all of the reveals for next year, so for the 2023 line. So if you ever want to check it out, if you ever want to just refresh that tab, see if anything else has been added to it, anytime I do a new 2023 reveal, I'll add it to that playlist. Yeah, the uh, the Tormenta de Nive, it, was, uh, it had the original code name Snowstorm, uh, but yeah, it's an ODST Hornet with Sergeant Stacker. I don't know if it's exactly Sergeant Stacker, Sergeant Stacker, but it, I mean, it really does look like him, so I would assume so. And it's got a lot of the new UNSC Marine style to it. I, it this is a phenomenal set. I know a lot of people I've seen, uh, you know, I asked people, uh, what is your feedback about this set? Are you excited about this set? Most people, very, very excited. I've seen some people aren't as interested in Sergeant Stacker, maybe because that's quite an old legacy character, but I certainly am, definitely. The ODST has definitely, uh, you know, piqued everyone's interest the most, an old school ODST and with that new backpack. And, uh, you know, a few people said, oh, we don't need a new Hornet, we just got one. But when you compare the images of this Hornet to the previous one, it's a no brainer. This one is phenomenal. So yeah, cool Halo 3 style set but we needed a new Halo Infinite set, right? Because they're doing Halo Universe with old school stuff and they're also doing Halo uh, Infinite. Did I say that in the right order? Halo Universe with the old school stuff, Halo Infinite present day stuff. So uh, let's have a look at the Halo Mudslide. Now again, it's a code word, just a placeholder name, so it doesn't spoil what the set is. It was called Mudslide, same way this one was called Snowstorm, uh, but this is a brand new Mongoose with so much going on. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, I gotta I gotta break this down bit by bit because this is nonsense. Like this is absolutely ridiculous. So this is a listing on Amazon Canada. Interestingly, the previous one was on Amazon Mexico. This one's on Amazon Canada. So I don't know why they're on different ones. Maybe there were more out there if people go digging. But yeah, uh, no confirmed price. But on the Mega Constructs news article, this claims that the set's going to arrive November 17th, which seems absurd to me. Um, that's the spring lineup coming in November 17th. Um, if I was to think about what that could possibly be, it might be an incorrect listing. A Ghost of Requiem might show up at someone's house, but I don't know. It would be wild if that showed. But then again, we got Universe Series 2 blind bag showing up on eBay, so... It's anyone's guess, really. But yeah, the UNSC Mud Slide, actually known as the UNSC Mongoose Outriders. What a what a fun what a fun set name. What a fun set name. So I've got a nice col 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 collation col <laughs> What am I saying? A nice selection of images that I've edited and I've touched up a little bit, and we're gonna have a look at them today. So this is the UNSC Mongoose Outriders, and um, it's that it's kind of absurd. I mean, where do we begin with this thing? I have never seen a set 
I've never seen a set at all. Maybe there's one that I can't think of, but I've never seen a set where two weapons, two brand new weapons are revealed at the same time, as well as, well, I mean, whoa. <laughs> Oh my, oh my, you're looking good. Uh, yeah, we got another Ravager. We've also got a brand new sidekick mold. Apparently they've remolded the sidekick. So, I mean, so much to break down here. So much to break down. Luckily for you guys, I've got it into separate images. We'll first look at the packaging. Really sleek, really crisp. I love the new packaging. You know, I'm gonna keep on going on about it because like it's a, it's a big deal for Mega and I want them to get good press with it. I personally adore the new packaging. I think it's so well designed. It draws your attention to exactly what needs to be shown off and nothing else. Just the silhouette of some mountains, that's all you really need. Uh, this blue, it perfectly contrasts with everything else. And you only see what you're getting in the set and a pretty a pretty uh, saucy two-in-one as well. Uh, yeah, the mega logo is so bold and ridiculous and has some figures on the top. The purple works so well. This mega logo stands out so nicely. Um, it is branded as Halo Infinite. Yep, 130 pieces, four figures. And this is the one, two, three, four, fifth. Yeah, the fifth set that we've got four figures and one small vehicle. And we're gonna go down run down each of those in a second. So we're going to start off as we should start off with the actual set. So we got this mongoose. We got a beautiful sidekick with a couple of extra details, I'm told. We got a scrap cannon, a brute, which there's no new molding on the brute, but it is an interesting one in some ways. A pulse carbine. We got the scorpion punch arm and a ravager and the yoroi with a green visor. Goodness me. And the mongoose, really funky design there. I believe this is the citrus ink mongoose coating. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, it kind of matches up, but an odd one for 343 to, I mean, I don't, I always kind of wonder with these things, uh, is it Mega's decision or did 343 want to promote this Mongoose skin so sort of pushed Mega to do it? You never really know. I mean, Mega might have just found that this was A, a fun one and also an easy one because the coatings wrap around vehicles in lots of different ways. Maybe the way that the Citrus Ink coating wrapped around the Mongoose was just easy for Mega to apply to their own uh, build. Who knows, but I would like to find out more information on that one. It looks really fun. I, I'm, up, I'm up for goofy colors. I'm up for some goofy Mongooses. It, it just makes you think like we should be getting a lot of uh, vehicle coating uh, vehicles, <laughs> vehicle coating vehicles, vehicle coating mega constructs vehicles, because I mean, why not? There's so many fun options out there. Then we've got our four figures, which, uh, what a wild lineup. No, go back, go back. I want to look at the figures. What a wild, wild lineup. Wow. This is absurd. We will start with this beautiful Anubis. And you may have noticed he's got a cybernetic leg. That's awesome. I mean, I said very recently in one of my videos that Mega should have way more cybernetic enhanced figures. Like it costs no more or almost no more money to do it. And it looks phenomenal. We've only really seen a few over the years, obviously with Cat, but then a couple of other Spartans that have appeared in random sets, but a cybernetic leg is dope. And he has that sidekick pistol, a beautiful mold. We actually didn't see the sidekick pistol in many sets at all, so it's great to see it. And I've been told it's a remold of the, uh, a couple of little features. And he has the scorpion sting arm. At least I think it's the scorpion sting arm. It looks a bit more orange, uh, maybe to match this uh, citrus ink. But at the same time, it kind of really does look like the scorpion Scorpion Sting, so, um, Scorpion Punch. So if it's not, then I'll uh, say in the comments down below, but I, I believe it must be. And he has a purple visor. Mega is clearly with this set embracing the customization very well, which I'm very hyped for. And uh, yeah, good to see another Anubis. We've seen him in quite a few sets recently, particularly, particularly helmets. But I mean, hey, I'll take him, I'll take him, but I'll definitely take this one, my goodness me. My goodness me, this is a nice figure. Wow, the Anubis. Uh, did I just say Anubis? <laughs> the Yoroi. Uh, obviously, I think Yoroi has been the most requested Halo Infinite figure for Mega to make. I mean, it, make, it makes sense. It's just so dope. That green visor is crazy cool. I love it. It's like, it's it's literally like a like a citrusy. And I love how their visors kind of, well, their armors in general, his arm and the Anubis's 
Again, Anubis. And the Yoroi's visor kind of matched this, which I do appreciate. Yeah, this Anubis looks phenomenal. That huge Ravager in hand, which first came out, and again, in one of those helmets. And this is one of those examples where I don't mind that it's just all silver. I, I don't mind that at all. Sometimes I, you know, I, I do criticize figures that are just one copy and paste single color, but silver is a different kind of beast. You know, if you're just gonna be single blue, I'm not that interested, but a silver, yes, yes. Also, apologies for my my really sloppy Photoshop work. Just quickly doing this so I could get the video out. Uh, yeah, it looks really phenomenal. And uh, this is the first Yoroi we've seen. I mean, yes, there is another Yoroi out there with leaks, but I'm not talking about leaks. So you go find that Yoroi if you want, but there is another Yoroi coming next year. But this one is the first one we've seen in an actual slated release that I can talk about, and he looks great. And I wanna point out one little feature as well, if we see here, he has a little holster for an energy sword. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I mean, uh, energy swords are usually turned off when they're holstered, but it's still very cool. I love it. I mean, he's a samurai, so I love the attention to detail from Mega. It's, it's really dope. Uh, yeah, Ravager and Sidekick, and then a Scrap Cannon, man. Like, where did that come from? I saw one of my friends, Jonathan, like, there's so many banished weapons that we need to get before we get the Scrap Cannon. I I, I agree and I disagree. I do love the Scrap Cannon, and it's a big uh, weapon with, is it Tavares? I think Tavares uses it. I think Hyperius has a Ravager. Uh, yeah, I think Tavares has a Scrap Cannon. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a huge weapon, and it's really, really well molded here. Mega's clearly done a very good job um, at molding this, uh, made it as large as it needs to be. And there's only so many uh, turrets out there, like things like the UNSC turret and the plasma turret, we've had the same ones for a long time. So it's uh, actually the plasma turret, I think got uh, remolded f within the last few years, but the scrap cannon, yeah, so good to see it. This Brute, while it looks like there's some new bits, it is actually just a Chieftain chest plate. Thank you, Tor of Ultimate Doom, for pointing that out. And the Brute Minor Face. I've been saying for a while, I think it is time we retire the Craig. I don't think he looks menacing enough. I'd, I'd much rather have that Halo Wars 2 Brute head mold. But there we go. Um, those three fingers look great. These blue eyes are so sick. Uh, the Elite Ultra has been overused a tiny bit. It was more overused when Halo Infinite first came out. With It was in so many sets. Uh, and, you know, I still enjoy it, but then gold, gold, you, you, you tell me you're giving me a gold Elite Ultra and a silver Yoroi. That's pretty cool. And then we, yeah, we got a Spartan and a Brute. And it's also great to see uh, two more banished. Uh, these could be used as uh, more banished leaders than uh, standard infantry, because we have so much standard infantry. And these just these are so much better to me than like the original Brutes that were coming out in the Skiff Intercept. I really got to dig these ones. Uh, yeah, that Gold Elite, just pure gold. That's all it needs to be. But then the blue eyes are a great feature. And would you look at that? We got a Pulse Carbine. So that means confirmed this year. I mean, we... we we have a new sidekick, we have a Pulse Carbine, we have a Ravager, we have a Scrap Cannon. It's uh, it's pretty it's pretty cool up here, it's pretty cool. I think the, the weapon I really want to see next... Oh, we also have the Commando, but that's been out for a little bit, Commando. Uh, I do really want to see the, the Stalker Rifle. I think we need that, especially for our, our uh, Jackal Snipers, but yeah, we'll see it soon enough. Swappable accessories, uh, this gives us a look at not only the brand new Yoroi chest plate with that cool spine going down, but also a brand new uh, Halo Infinite chest plate, like the UA-12 or whatever it is, uh, UA something. Yeah, um, the bit that ever <laughs> spans controversy because it doesn't match the armor coatings, like you can have an armor coating and then this is just still gray. <laughs> so there's always been controversy around that. But yeah, Sidekick looks great, uh, Nubus looks great. Yeah, definitely more orange than red, but I mean, I'm all about it. And then, yeah, this this gorgeous, this will be soft plastic, I imagine. Same as uh, things like the, uh, what was I commenting on uh, that the other day? Uh, the, the brute captain, the new brute captain's uh, chest uh, or, or pelvis. Uh, hip, <laughs> hip armor. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love these plates. They look really fantastic. Uh, these knees uh, jolt out and then he's got his little fairy, uh, fairy tiptoe, um, 
Dan shoes. I, I like it. Yeah, very cool. And the visors are great metallic colors. That, uh, yeah, that chest looks really good. Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah, Mega. You're doing it. You're killing it. Bring it home, boys. Uh, yeah, the standard swivel system that we've seen on the uh, recent Gungoose Gambit and uh, Recon Getaway. Very nice. And then this rebuild, which is uh, pretty cool. This is, this is pretty dope. Like, uh, honestly, it's pretty dope. Uh, a nice little cannon. I won't have this uh, or use this, but it's it's cool. And I like that little lever, that's that's fun. It's almost like a um, rotating targeting system, like you pull that round and the cannon readjusts. I, I like it, you know, it's it's good, it's good honest fun. It's good honest fun. Um, and yes, I imagine you could easily modify this into a gun goose. Rebuild two in one, instructions separately. Ah, oh, looks so good, man. I absolutely love this. And it seems like we've got a nice speckly uh, sort of silver, uh, silver, fairy dust kind of effect on a lot of this, which, fun. I mean, I don't think we've ever had something quite like this, so we'll see how it turns out, and it will match the Yoroi perfectly. Amazing. So, this is the fifth set in this line of standard small vehicles with four uh, characters, usually two good guys, two bad guys, usually, well, sometimes with a two-in-one. So much going on and such good value. We started with the Recon Getaway that had two Marines, a Grunt, and an Elite, one of the best army builders we've ever seen, and that Elite will go down as one of the fun, one of the fun ones. I really do enjoy that Elite. Then we've got the Hijack Ghost. I personally don't like this set really that much at all. Uh, I think the Ghost is, is, is very, uh, I don't want to say low quality, I just don't think it's got much going for it, and uh, when you compare it to the Ghost of Requiem, it's just the, <laughs> the comparison of ghosts is outrageous. The Anubis is still good in the set, uh, the Brute is so-so, he only has one shoulder, but the uh, the Grunt's a good cannon fodder, I know people love their Grunts. Uh, Gun Goose Gambit is our third iteration, comes with that Brute Captain, Brute Miner, and a Jackal Sniper, and a Recon Marine, I mean, this is a quality, quality set. Uh, it comes with the, de it's the debut of the commando rifle. Uh, yeah, I should have a stalker rifle, but that's okay. And that brute captain is exceptional. Love that set. And then the Ghost of Requiem, one of the best sets ever made, to be honest, one of the greatest sets of all time. Gekul Ha actually stood out uh, for me and had a lot of printed detailings that I was not expecting in all of its glory with that gorgeous honeycomb effect, like absolutely outstanding. Then these two Marines, brand new Halo 4 removable helmet Marines, just, just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And that brings us to the last the last of our new releases. Oh, come on, go back. There we go. There's our fifth iteration. The UNSC Mongoose Outriders. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this set. Uh, and do you think it compares to the other four that we've got in the past? I honestly think this... Um, you know, I, it, it, the Ghost of Requiem, uh, it will be a hard contender with the Ghost of Requiem. The only thing I'll say about this one is... Every figure is exceptional. The Ghost of Requiem, the Grunt was so-so, but the two Marines were exceptional. So was uh, Gekla Ha. So uh, I'm a little between it. I, this might take the cake as the best one, but the, the Gold Elite Ultra and the Brute having a Brute Chieftain chest plate and that Anubis with the Scorpion punch Amazing, like absolutely amazing. So the UNSC Mongoose Outriders is slated for spring of 2023, but I mean, hey, it could come out anytime now, apparently. Uh, but I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I really hope you enjoyed this new kind of format where I just sit here and I talk. Uh, it's easier for me. It means I can get the news out to you guys quicker. And um, I think it's also a little more personal because I can I can just zoom right in on Craig's face as I'm talking. So, I mean, that's, that's real-time Craig for you. You want real-time Craig? don't you? Uh, thank you, uh, yeah, for tuning in. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Rate this out of 10. Let me know what you're excited about. Let me know what's let you down, turned around and deserted you, but I'm never going to give you up. I'm never going to let you down. And this was another video with The Domain. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in today. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. Shout out to all the exceptional releases that are coming soon with Mega. And stick it with this channel, please. Do subscribe to be up to date with all your Mega Constructs news. I got two more reveals coming tomorrow. Domain, signing off.